All right, in this video, I'm gonna, it's going to be a brief video. I'm going to show you how to convert the vibration device on this, this baby seat to uh, run on USB power. So I went in. This is a 1.5 volt battery, the D size. So I went in. I soldered a wire on the positive, and then let me find it here. All right. And I, I bought on eBay a USB 5 volt to 1.5 volt adapter with alligator clips. And once I soldered that on there. I know, scissors aren't meant for that, but they work. All right, so by doing that, I, I um, created a, a little a place for the alligator clip to clip on. It's easy for the alligator clip to clip on the, uh, the negative side. Sorry, I'm looking and not looking at the camera. All right. And now I'm going to um, I'm going to carve out a corner here so that these wires can exit and go down underneath. That way they're not going to be uh, near the baby. And remember, this is only 1.5 volts. This is not a any kind of a shocking voltage or anything like that for a baby. It's very safe. No harm is going to come to the baby from this. Here's my soldering gun. And I added a little bit of solder here to give a clip better. All right. All right. So with this, I widened the um, the solder a little bit to give the alligator clip a better grip, so it won't slip off. I just added some solder to the the wire that I already soldered onto the metal uh, the the metal plate. So just as a reminder, the spring is the negative; it gets the black, and then the positive is the plate that the wire gets soldered onto to grip onto that. Next we're going to we're going to use a, a, a blade and we're going to kind of carve out an edge to give the wires an exit. You can reposition the negative like this and then we're going to we're going to route the wires oops doing this at an angle here and then we're going to route the wires to the corner. All right, so what I've been doing is I've been using a razor blade and I'm, I'm slowly notching out this plastic to create a groove that these two wires are gonna, gonna come out and they're gonna go directly down underneath so that all the wires stay down below and away from the baby. So these wires are gonna, gonna come to this corner here, which I'll show you in a moment. So it's going to look like that. All right, so here we go. After I after I, I groove this out, we now have this, and it's going to come down underneath. And I'm going to put this cover back on it. All right, so as you can see, there's no wiring up here, and, and even so, this is very low voltage wiring. This is only a volt and a half, not harmful at all. And it's going to come underneath. All right, so it comes down, and it just goes to a USB plug. Now, normally USB is five volts, but this little adapter here drops the five volts down to one point five. I don't know if you can see that. It's very tiny writing. I got it on on eBay. It's from China. So it's five volts USB to one point five volts. All right, so I like using these rigid adapters on the rigid 18 volt batteries. They supply 5 volts, 2.1 amps for 8 hours or until the battery drains. So you press the button to start it. You just plug it in there. Click the switch and it's vibrating. Yeah, it's working. So there you go. There's your little uh, rigid slash USB hack. So you don't have to keep dropping in D sized batteries into this. They'll keep running and running. All you have to do is recharge the battery. And this battery will probably last multiple eight hour periods before it needs to be charged.
Potentially. All right, so as a summary, you can see the wire isn't anywhere near the child. It comes from underneath, and then you could just, I don't know, you could put the battery right there, you could put the battery right there, or you can even just take the USB plug and plug it into um, a USB power source, another one other than this, and it'll work fine. As long as it's at least two amps, it should be fine.